the next hack I got we put the tent together I put the tent together yesterday and this is a Smitty built XL Gen 2 the awesome tent puppy is huge inside is nice and dry lots of ventilation the only thing is everybody says oh they set up in five minutes bullshit <laughs> This one takes a lot more than five minutes. Maybe I'm not the most coordinated, but the worst part about this tent, now get, don't get me wrong, I love this tent, but the worst part is this stupid awning thing. It's up over the ladder. The whole mass of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pipes, and it's a pain in the butt. Worst part, you gotta squeeze the you gotta squeeze the pipe down through this little little bungee deal. It's keep the mosquitoes out, I know what it's for. But it's kind of a pain in the butt. And then, once you take it all apart, what do you do with the stupid pipes? Now, I could have left the pipes in the, there was a plastic bubble wrap thing, a little sleeve that came with the tent. Uh, this is the inside of my Gen 2 XL. It's huge. You see, there's a normal size sleeping bag and there's room for one on each side. So you can fit four people in here. Family and I spent the night here in the driveway just testing it out. Um, I've used it a couple of times, but the wife hasn't been out in a tent and she's kind of leery. So the solution is all these pipes, they're not longer than a sleeping bag, okay? I just slide them in the damn sleeping bag and then when I get ready to fold the tent up, I'm gonna turn the tent, turn the sleeping bag sideways. <clears throat> like so. Let me see what I'm looking at. Turn the sleeping bag sideways so I can stuff all the pipes in the sleeping bag and they're not rubbing up against the side of the tent, making holes. The sleeping bag, they're clean pipes anyway, they're clean tubes but I keep them inside the sleeping bag and it'll protect the tent. Plus the sleeping bag folds right up with the tent. I just put it over on that side. That's, that's the truck side. Oh, hang on. That's the truck side over there. So it folds over to the sleeping bag and there's room for at least one up there. So I might even throw a pillow in there with it. But put the pipes in there. That way they're, you're protecting the rest of your tent from abrasion. Running down the road, I don't know. I always worry that the pipes are going to rub up against the side of the tent and punch a hole in it. So don't have to do that if they're stuck in a sleeping bag. Anyway, I know this video is really shaky, and I'm sorry. But really, I'm not sorry. Deal with it. <laughs> This awning is really nice, especially when it's raining, but it's 10 minutes at least to set up. Takes me maybe 10 minutes for the tent, uh, maybe even less than that for the tent, maybe five or six minutes for the tent seems like. But then it takes me 10, 15 for this, this awning. Like I said, don't get me wrong, I love it. But don't expect to set your XL up in 10 minutes, it ain't happening. But it's a great tent. It's up off the ground, off the critters, off the rocks. You're not sleeping on stones, you're sleeping on a nice comfy three inch memory foam mattress. And when you fold it up, it pretty much goes away on the back of your truck. It's like carrying a little box, like a cargo box. You gotta be a little bit, a little bit acrobatic to get up there and tie it and whatever, but I left a big space. You can see I left a big space on the side of my rack. It's a homemade rack. I built that. It's pretty beefy too, huh? <laughs> I left a big space so I can walk down the back side of the tent so I can do my zipper and I can do the straps and everything else. I just dropped the tailgate. I use a little ladder, climb right up in there, walk right down the side of it, take care of what I gotta do drying it out right now the morning dew still a little wet i don't want it to put it away wet so i'll let it dry for a few more minutes but 
she works good works good even the wife was impressed last night which is kind of unbelievable <laughs> she's down with it she's ready to go camping so get a little camp stove a couple of pots and pans and a pile of firewood you're ready to do it pretty easy I'm thinking we're gonna go to the coast this next couple of weeks go over to Maine eat some lobster and clams um, buy tent this is new for me I've never done a tent before always had a fifth wheel or a lance camper or something all right that's it end